<laughs> he will only play worried. judge this on split. Billy Billy are doing and how You're doing kidding it, really? me, right? You're kidding me. Really, something to watch. Uh, even on attack? <laughs> Surely not on attack. Of the camera. But just before we talk about how NRG lost to a judge, let's first talk about the sponsor of today's video, Gosu Academy. Because Gosu Academy are running another boot camp from August 25th to September 3rd, and so this is your chance to get better at Valorant very, very quickly. Now in the boot camp, you'll be getting sessions from the likes of Neil Zinho, who's the Team Heretics coach, Anders, who's uh, currently working with Fnatic on their champs run as well, and Thwifo, who's currently a 100 Thieves sub 6 player. Now, if you can't make all of the sessions, don't worry, because they will be recorded as VODs as well, so you won't be missing out on anything, and you can see what the sessions are called as well to give you a bit of an idea of what you will be learning. And so if you want 10 days worth of coaching from Tier 1 players and Tier 1 coaches for the price of what often will just be one coaching session elsewhere, then go and sign up with the Ghost of Academy Bootcamp in the link in the description or in the pinned comment, and thanks for Ghost of Academy for sponsoring the video. But now let's get into game, and we'll start with round number four, our first full buy round for both teams. And so it begins, because here is YZ with a judge. But yes, he has more than enough to buy a rifle if he so chooses. But no, he forgoes that for a judge. And we'll see at the end of this round how that comes into play. But first off, we're going to see the duality of Chinese Valorant, because NRG here are just going to start with a bit of a default. One towards uh, A, one towards B, and three players in towards mid. And they're going to come and try and explore mid just for a second. And you're going to see Chinese Valorant, they have some crack players, but sometimes they just do some crazy things. Ready. Blinded. Looking for NRG to maybe stabilize here early on. Can they calm the tempo down here? Once again, high priority towards middle to play. Oh, shouldered by Yosemite. But you're going to have Rin actually just holding that am angle. That was lovely work. Yeah. First blood found. That flash will note that there's another player here, but will they consider Ardis being this deep already? Or does it even matter now the ult comes through? Yep, he's going to have to be very careful because look how ready to brawl they are. All five players for Billy Billy were willing to challenge on middle. I think we're only seeing two on the other side of this new off there. Wow. An overstep here from Yosemite. Yeah, overstep is one way of putting it there. Hypoc, I have no idea what this was. Looks like, to be honest, the rest of the players did start coming towards mid. So maybe a bit of a breakdown in communication there where they thought, you know, maybe they were all going to aggress on mid as the Cypher all came in. But Yosemite just ended up going off alone. But NRG, as you start to see here, come in towards A. And now they're just going to group up and uh, come towards this A site as they send out the Seekers. Massive timing for the Seekers as well. The nice positions revealed, one towards three. Yeah, that's huge. Left. The Seeker's a little bit of an MVP this round, but it's on Knight to try and over-deliver. He's got a freebie on Ardis, maybe a pull-up. He does! Takes down, right crashes down two, eight. brings it back down to a fair 2v2. But keep in mind... So we end up in this 2v2, and something already a bit weird on the map is there, and that's this smoke, which is actually a smoke from BLG. Now, that's a bit weird, because you might look at that smoke and be like, well, can't some kind of, you know, play around it, right? He could go in the smoke. He could, you know, kind of dance around behind it, you know, and kind of keep his angle unknown to people like coming out onto the site, either from heaven or kind of uh, through CT there. So you might think, doesn't that kind of help some like escape and whatnot? Well, no, because that smoke is there for a very good reason. It's to give our judge cover so that he can just double blast back into this and not be seen by anyone, for instance, in these angles, and then just judge down some whilst I omen flash down here. And it works Perfectly. Why is he still has that judge? Some will get the divide off this. He's flying in. Connected. He's gone in. He's going to try and find some. Where is he? Says hello. Gets him. That's ridiculous stuff. Billy Billy, no respect. Could not care less. They're facing NRG. 
But now let's come to BLG's attacking side, and in this one, round number 18, they're actually on a save. But they have their trusty judge in hand, so don't worry. But other than that, just four stingers. And we should also talk about their comp as well, because they're playing both Cypher and Viper. And that, I think, uh, was a bit important for allowing them to do certain things. Like this, right? Where normally you would see the Viper set up over towards A, you know, something like that. Uh, we've seen DRX do little uh, variations on it as well uh, with Viper. But here, because they're playing Cypher as well, you know, most of the time, not this round because it's a save, but most of the time they were doing the Cypher stuff over towards A. And what this allows you is to put the full Viper set up or over towards B and create a lot of pressure here. And that has an effect on some in this round where he's going to end up playing a really tight close angle against a bunch of stingers right not ideal uh but what also is going to happen in this round is artists it's going to probably make you you might think that this is a mistake by artists uh, when you first see it but what's going to happen is they're going to send a sky flash up here fns is actually going to cross across towards uh, b heaven just there um they're going to double blast back up as well and send an omen flash up here and smoke off a uh, smoke off vent so that to artist reads like, well, this double blast back is coming towards FNS, right? They've sent a sky flash at him, they've sent an omen flash at him, they've smoked me off. They've double blast backed, he's going towards B heaven. And so artist ends up looking this way, but actually YZ is actually close to him with a judge, gets that kill. They then kill FNS with a dog as well. We'll then see another judge kill on the top of that. And also some will get beaten here by the Stingers having to play this close up angle because he doesn't want to deal with this Viper self. I mean, why is he still got a judge? He's on a full buy, basically. Yep, he's happy. Oh, speaking of, where he goes. Almost caught. Oh, no way! Oh, this just got knocked out! That's a Vandal upgrade. He don't even want it. Boombot's going to clear it. No way! That's a four! This is ridiculous! This isn't the round it happens! No, not like this! But we end up in a 1v3. And you think it's 11 6, 1v3, game over, right? But no. Crashy said something to say, and at one point, I was very worried that this was going to be the turning point where NRG would come back into the game, because the judge giveth, but then the judge taketh. He's surely going to put him on 12, carve it into the scoreboard, unless Crashy's goes huge. He's desperately trying, and he's absolutely oh, succeeding. My word. When NRG need him most, Crashy's is there. But then if we come to the very next round, YZ is still going to have his judge here, his trusty judge in hand. But now, they decided to fight fire with fire, did NRG. And it paid off here, as FNS also goes for a judge. And it works very well for him in this round, as you will see. Close. Early ult from FNS. Does not want to entertain a B hit. Does Billy Billy even care? Oh god, no they don't. Well, YZ certainly does. Oh, FNS! Gives him a taste of his own medicine. YZ down out of the round. Judge drop this time. It's four alive. So secondary objective, the pit will fall. So relinquishing some of that control. Ow. Artists will spot Yosemite. Patience now. When does Here. he peak? He's checking. We can see how close they are. Great shot spots the other two. No tip, but Knight's still going to find him. This should be relayed. Exactly this is FNS now. Potentially on a platter, but keep your eyes on the spike. He's going towards BFNS, standing tall, showing him how it's done. That's going to be eight, surely. Bianca was exceptional on map one. No chance here. FNS. I don't know some of you are thinking, but seriously, how did NRG lose to this team that's only using a judge? Well, BLG also did some very nice things like this round in round number 20 where it feels like the momentum is shifting against them. They're now down on another eco, although YZ does buy a rifle this time, probably because he's the only guy who can afford it. And, you know, so that's just another advantage of buying the judge so much is that it gives him extra money, of course. But then if we take a look at this round and what's going to happen, they just go for a full, you know, a hit towards ramp, uh, you know, which is a fairly decently common idea, especially these days, right? Here's the Cypher stuff. They have the Viper stuff here as well, right? So they can commit kind of even more to it essentially and you'll see let's take a bit of spam damage there but they start to creep up towards ramp but what's about to happen in a second is really really smart so they kind of beat a timing here a bit right they get up there and they get up there maybe a bit quicker than nrg are really expecting right so they get up here and they sneak in in towards vents the viper actually goes exploring you know all the way throughout vents just there 
But now I want you to watch a what happens next, because this is insane, right? NRG come back up towards ramp and they want to re-clear it. Now, you can kind of tell by the way that they're looking just here, and you can tell by Som's uh, angle just here. They don't really expect them to be here. As I said, they kind of beat that timing just ever so slightly. But just look in just a second where this omen is going to go, right? Look at BLG here. They know what is going to happen next. They know. They are expecting NRG. And I don't know if this is a hard anti-strat or if this was just in the moment. They had a feeling. Whatever it was, it was genius. Because NRG are going to try and re-clear ramp here. And they have their omen ready to flash off contact here with an omen flash from downtown for when NRG inevitably, of course, go and re-clear ramp. Just yet with three moments of NRG up. This they close. Do they re-clear ramp? Do they re-clear ramp? Do... Oh, no, 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 no. There's a trap. There's a trap. There's a trap. Som. Som, there's a trap. Som, there's a trap. Turn. Look, the flash of paranoia. Oh, it's devastating. Oh, it's Billy, Billy, beat them in perfectly. And whilst that was going on, we had our Viper walk all the way up here towards B Heaven. Here's uh, uh, FNS here go through spawn as well and follows him back around. Uh, FNS will manage to get one kill before falling. And then Artist just has an op and has to save. And so this was 12 for Billy, Billy. And this could be the heartbreak round. Artis and FNS, though. Heroics from FNS and just that round gone. Artis always good for it. But this is the round to do it on. First challenger found. YZ down. Yosemite. Oh my god, not again. Not like this. Yosemite pulls the trigger. FNS is gone. It's on Artis in a 1v3. An operator in hand, though. This is going to require a miracle, Lauren. But it's Artis. Someone answers the prayers. It used to be artists answering, not today. Noted early here by the utility, will have to fall away. Mike, that's right. And then to finish here, round number 21, we got this, where again, it's just going to be another big stack from BLG, and they're just going to come and do this A hit. NRG are going to start with actually three players towards mid and come and try and get aggressive here with the dog coming out towards B as well. No one's home as we can see. And uh, BLG, they just go and clear up towards ramp with both the cages and uh, the wall here. They send a sky flash round. But now they are just going to come back towards this A site uh, through kind of the main choke point. And it looks like they just about do this in time, right? Just before NRG are kind of just here. Uh, so in go the smokes, just, uh, just the normal smokes just there. We're going to get a perfect nade that basically hits FNS in the head. Uh, which forces him down here into an omen flash, which forces him further this way than into the sky dog. And then we get the blast backs behind it, getting a free kill basically on FNS. We then gonna get the Viper Spit in here as well, making this retake, you know, nigh on impossible. Gets a bit chaotic with Som's Astral in there as well. But Billy Billy managed to pull off one of the biggest upsets with a player using pretty much only the judge for most of the rounds in this game. Also dropping a 30 bomb using just the judge. So long live the judge. Rifles are dead. There you go, Valorant has a new gun meta. Heaven, but now the problem's fall back towards Finesse. Pain shell to force him away, committing towards the side, the paranoia said he's in danger, and he's dead. Why is he's already in? And NRG and Dire straight here, down to four. Sight waving Billy Billy's flag here. All gonna be invested to plant, gonna come down. 5v4 in favor of Billy Billy. Need someone to open this round up. A divide available with a pit down. It doesn't really amount to too much. Here we go. This is it. Hold your breath. As now the fight begins. Knight takes down Tom. Looks for follow-up. Finding anyone. Why is he there? It's down to Victor. It's down to Artis. It's all that's left is Artis. And the unthinkable might just happen here. The true upset of the day. The upset of the event so far. Billy, Billy. Besting in our